Hi everyone, my name is Alicia and I'm an admissions coordinator for the DMD program here at UNE. I'm joined by my co-coordinator, Sari, who you will see in just a few moments. Today, we are going to walk through some important aspects of our ADSAS application. So the first section of the application is the personal information section. This section includes standard information for you to fill out, such as biographic information, citizenship information, contact information, etc. I want to take a moment to point out the other information tab. So under other information, you will be asked to enter your assigned dent pin number. It is important to verify that your dent pin has been entered correctly when filling out this section to avoid any delays when you submit your application. An incorrect dent pin might delay the delivery of official DAT scores to your designated dental schools or programs or delay the verification process. Also in this section, you will find two short answer prompts. So these prompts include a COVID-19 impact prompt and also a manual dexterity prompt where you will describe any activities that you are proficient in that require manual dexterity, such as sewing, playing a musical instrument, etc. Each item includes directions for how to correctly enter that required information, so be sure to read those directions carefully to ensure you are successfully answering each question. Once you reach the bottom of this section, you will hit the save and continue button and can move on to the next section. Um, so my name is Sari, as my colleague Alicia mentioned, I also um, work in our Office of Graduate Admissions with our dental medicine programs. So now that you have completed the personal information section of your ADSAS application, we'll move on to the academic history section. In this section, you will indicate any colleges or universities you've attended, any high schools you attended, enter your transcripts as they appear on your official copies of your transcripts, and include any information about standardized tests. So it will be important for you to add any colleges or universities that you attended at the undergraduate level or higher, even if you only took one course at these schools, or even if you started a course and withdrew before you completed the course, you'll still need to include that school on your application. The transcript entry section is where you will review your transcripts from each school that you've attended and manually enter your transcript uh, information. You can have ADSAS enter your transcripts for you for a fee, or you can choose to enter this information yourself. When you come to this section, you will take a look at your transcripts, and then you will add each semester as it appears, appears on your official transcript for that school. You'll enter the term, the year, the academic status, so whether you are a freshman or a sophomore, et cetera, and your completion status, whether you completed the semester or whether it's a semester that you're currently engaged with or have planned um, future coursework for. Once you've added the semester and added each school, you'll add your individual courses as they appear on your official transcript. You'll enter the course code, the course title, the subject for the course, the number of credits for the course, and your grade as it appears on your, on a, on your official transcript and you'll hit save. So you'll want to add all your coursework um, for each school attended. And once you've added it, it will appear here separated by each semester. It's important that you add all your coursework again exactly as it does appear on your transcript, because even a small discrepancy between your transcript and what you enter in this section can cause verification of your application to be delayed. So now we'll move down to the standardized tests tab here. All applicants to UNE's DMD program will need an official DAT score from on or before our DAT deadline. To add your DAT score, you'll click Add Test Score, and then you'll indicate whether this is a planned test. You can enter the date here for your planned test, um, or whether you're retaking the test. You can indicate a planned retake here. If you've taken your DAT and you want to um, self-report your scores, you'll enter the test date, once again, your dent pin, again, important to make sure that that is accurate as uh, the American Dental Association will use that information to match your test scores. And then you'll enter each section of the DAT as it appears on your score report. So again, just making sure that that matches your score report. You can click save and add another if you've taken the DAT multiple times, or if you've only taken the DAT once, you can click save this test. You'll also need to go to the American Dental Association website 
and request that they release your official DAT score to ADA ADSAS. We don't consider unofficial or self-reported scores, so it will be important that you kind of monitor the status of your score reports coming from the American Dental Association and that you make sure they match your self-reported uh, scores. We do accept the Canadian DAT. Canadian applicants would follow the same process where you self-report your scores in this section, but then you will need to request that the Canadian Dental Association mails your official score reports to UNE's Office of Graduate Admissions, as your score will not be considered official until that official report is received. Next, we will head over to the supporting information section. This section is important because it includes items that impact the completion of your application. When we enter into the Evaluations tab, you will see a brief description on how to navigate this step. You will want to click Create Evaluation Request, which will include a spot for the evaluator's first and last name, their email address, the type of request, as well as a personal message to the evaluator for example, thanking them for their time and submitting this evaluation for you, a waiver of the evaluation, permission to contact the references, and permission for schools to contact the references. You will then hit save this evaluation and go back to the previous screen. You will be able to view the status of the evaluation by looking beside the status arrow under each evaluation request. And as a reminder, UNE requires a minimum of two letters of recommendation, one being from a science professor that you took a class with and the other of your choice. Additionally, a committee letter would also be accepted in place of the two individual letters. So now that we talked about evaluations, we're going to talk about dental shadowing experiences, also under the experiences tab. It is important to note here that once you submit your application, you cannot edit previously entered experiences. You can only add new experiences or update the ones that are in progress. So you will want to ensure that you are categorizing your experience as a correct type when you click on add experience. You want to make sure you're being as detailed as possible when filling out the description of your key responsibilities in that role towards the bottom of this screen. As a reminder, um, UNE does not accept administrative or clerical shadowing towards fulfilling the required minimum 30 hours of shadowing. However, it is still important to include these experiences. So our shadowing must be a patient-centered or chair-side with a dentist. And in this section, you will also want to include any employment or volunteer work, especially considering UNE is such a mission-driven school. Um, you want to include as much volunteer work here as you can. Also in this experiences section, you will find tabs to upload any important achievements that you want to share, licenses that you have, and you'll also be able to include your personal statement here. So under the personal statement tab, it is crucial that you spend time when writing out your personal statement to ensure that it expresses all of the information you want to communicate about why you want to pursue a career in dentistry that it is free of any punctual or grammatical errors, and that you adhere to the character limit provided. It's also important to note that this statement will be shared across all programs that you are applying to, so you don't wanna make it program specific to UNE. Um, once your statement is entered as you would like, you will then hit the save and continue button. Now talk about the program materials section. This section of the application is specific to the program you are applying to while you work on it. So if you click on the this tab, you'll then see some information on the home page about applying to UNE. If you click on the questions tab of the program materials section, you will find our supplemental essay questions, as well as some information about your place of residence from birth through age 18. You'll want to make sure that you spend time reflecting on your supplemental essay responses, as these are one of the most personal ways we have to get to know each applicant and the unique strengths and contributions they may have to bring to our incoming class. You will fill out these essay questions at the time you apply, 
and they will be tied to, to your application to the UNE College of Dental Medicine. So these supplemental questions, unlike some other components of your application and other sections, will only be sent to UNE when you apply. I would encourage you to draw on your life experiences, values, and anything else that might help you to answer these questions and show what unique contributions you may have to bring to our incoming class. Once you've taken your time answering these questions, you will then um, submit your responses and hit save. The last tab for the program materials section that we'll look at is the prerequisites tab. Each dental medicine program has specific prerequisite courses that you would need to complete. UNE's prerequisites will be lined up here. So you can see anatomy, biochemistry, general biology, and so forth, and then whether a lab is required for each course. You will have already entered your transcript entry. Um, so you can go ahead and hit the assign course button for any prerequisite course, um, let's say biochemistry. So then your transcript entry in each semester will show up. You will find the appropriate course where you achieved the minimum grade of C or better and click this button to match the course you completed with that specific prerequisite. And then you can hit save and exit. You'll do this for each of these prerequisite courses and they will show up with the green check mark once you have tied them to one of the courses you completed on your transcript entry. Try to complete as many of these matching um, courses matching as you can. However, if you're not sure whether a course you have completed meets our requirements, it's fine to leave one or more blank. When we receive your verified ADSAS application, we will conduct a preliminary review, which will include notifying you of any prerequisite courses that you may still have to complete. Um, so this is really more a tool for your own reference as you're applying to give yourself a sense of how many courses you might have left to complete. So after you have finished the program materials section and all other components of your application, so all these four sections here, you'll navigate to submit application. On this tab, you will see your application to UNE that you're working on right now and any other applications that you may have in progress at that time. You'll see fees for the applications that you're working on. And you can either, once you've double checked everything, submit your application individually to each program by using this button here, or you can click submit all and submit your applications to all programs you're applying to at one time. Application submission for fall 2025 will begin on June 4th. Once you've submitted your application, I would encourage you to utilize the check status tab. Here, you can view the status of your application, broadly speaking, to the University of New England's DMD program. You can see that because we haven't actually hit submit, the application status says in progress. You may see after you submit your application to ADSAS that it says received or complete. You will need to monitor your application status to make sure the application becomes verified via ADSAS. And until this application status says verified, we will not have received your application here at UNE. You can also keep track of the status of other components that you've sent in for your application, such as evaluation requests or transcripts from individual schools. So thank you for joining us today. That wraps up our application walkthrough to UNE's DMD program via ADSAS. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us in the Office of Graduate Admissions at gradadmissions at une.edu. Thank you again for your interest in our DMD program, and we look forward to connecting with you this application cycle.